What's happening guys? We're back and we're gonna pull that flange off today. All right guys, today is the day that we're gonna pull the, uh, the dam off and hopefully build another dam and start fiberglassing the, uh, the main section of the hood. So we got some thickness built up on our front air dam section. Um, I did that off camera. There's probably four layers, four to six layers all the way around on the flange section. Um, so that's good to go. I'm probably gonna do a little bit more work on the inside but I can do that while I'm still fiberglassing the rest of it because uh, I'll be far enough away from the edges. So, ready to pull the core plast off. Uh, before we do that though, I'm gonna grab a grinder and just slit off all the way around the edges so we get rid of this kind of, that fur around the edge. Um, just so when we're working around it, it's smooth and we don't keep, keep stabbing ourselves with it. So, let's grab a grinder and a dust mask and uh, cut that flange. Ow. I was cleaning the plastic up off the floor and I bent down too quick and I smashed my forehead in between my eyes there on the corner of the mold uh, and cut myself. So those are pretty sharp. Um, yeah, so I'm going to deal with this and then get back to you guys. And we're back. Um, I'm not bleeding anymore at least. Uh, still isn't healed, but uh, that really hurt. I whacked myself pretty good there. Um, but anyhow, head wounds out of the way. We can get back working on the mold. Um, first thing we're gonna do is build the second dam. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna cast the top of the hood in two halves. Um, I thought about doing it in three, but I think two will be enough. So we'll run a, a dam right down the middle of the hood. Um, and then we're also gonna put one on the front because I don't wanna cast the bottom nose piece. Um, I'm going to do that all as its own kind of separate mold. So we're going to throw a dam down here. Um, I went out, we got some, uh, some more signboard. Um, this stuff's really easy to pick up if, uh, if you're in a country that's having an election soon. So we got some of this, this is actually from I think last year's election. I don't know, whatever. We got some of that. Um, we'll cut that up and build ourselves a mold. Um, I'm not going to use hot glue this time. The hot glue that we had on the front there actually took the, uh, the top layer of paint off of our buck. So this time we're going to use some of this DAP quick seal. Um, it should be more than strong enough to hold the mold up while still, you know, releasing off of this without causing any damage. Um, we're also going to use this to build our fillet uh, rather than plasticine. This is what, uh, how's that street legal is using on his molds and he's having good luck. So we're gonna give it a whirl. So let's grab a couple of these sign boards, cut ourselves some blocks and uh, build a flange.
All right, there's our flange done. Um, we got the whole flange along the middle. We also put that little one uh, on the bottom there so we don't cast the underside. Uh, next step is gonna be registration dots. Uh, the plasticine worked, but it, it was kind of tough to remove the plasticine out of the, the mold once we kind of pulled the flange off. So for this one, we're gonna use these little uh, rubber, basic, they're basically door stoppers. Um, got these from the dollar store for next to nothing. So we'll stick a couple of those on the flange um, and hopefully it'll make nice registration dots so then we can just pop out real easily. Uh, and then we're going to wax it. Um, I don't wanna wax the flange just because it is pretty fragile right now. Um, so we're gonna have to rely on the PVA to do the, the mold release on the flange, but we can wax the buck itself and the fiberglass, the, the front fiberglass piece. So we'll wax those up and then uh, we should be ready to, to lay PVA. You know what, I'm just gonna wait until tomorrow to wax it, because every time I get anywhere near where I put some of that, uh, that dap on, I keep grabbing a little bit of it, and I actually like to wax the dap if I can. So, uh, yeah, we'll come back tomorrow and, and wax all this. All right, we're back. Uh, the dap is cured up overnight, so now our, uh, our flange dam thing is, uh, is fairly solid, not I don't want to mess with it too much, but uh, it's good enough for now. So we're going to lay a bit of our uh, mold release wax on the buck itself. Um, I did put a light coat on the dam and I'm not going to buff it off. I'm just going to leave it, uh, but we will buff it off of the buck. So we'll wax this up and then uh, start on the PVA step. All right, there's one layer of PVA on. Um, I'm gonna lay probably five or six on. Uh, I'm pretty nervous about that DAP caulking line. So I'm gonna make sure that that's got a nice thick layer of PVA over top of it. Um, so that hopefully I don't get any fiberglass like eat through or anything like that. But I'm gonna do that and then I'll catch up with you guys when it's time to start mixing and uh, spreading on our gel coat. And we're back again. Um, I got about five layers of PVA on our part. Um, it should be good. I would like to actually do a couple more. There's some spots where it looks like it might be a little bit thin, but uh, it's getting pretty late and I don't want to leave this PVA unprotected overnight. It's been starting to get a little bit chilly at night, so there's some condensation in the air. And if any of that condensation ends up on the part, it'll actually dissolve away the PVA um, the PVA is, is water soluble, so if that, any of that condensation gets on there and dissolves the PVA, you'll end up with little pinholes, and then essentially the whole thing is useless. So we need to coat it before we go to bed tonight. So I mixed up some of our, our blue uh, gel coat. So I got the pigment mixed into the resin there. Um, we're gonna, that'll probably be enough for two or three batches. We're gonna mix them in a little bit smaller batches. Um, so I wanna get one good coat of resin on here, let that harden overnight, and then we can go on and put another couple coats on uh, tomorrow. So I'm gonna throw on a jacket and some gloves, and then we'll, we'll mix up some of that resin and put a coat on here.
All right, that looks pretty good. Um, we got one gel coat on. Uh, it's a little bit light in some places, so it's definitely gonna need a second application, but uh, that's okay, we got some left over. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow though. I'm gonna throw the heat on it, make sure this all kicks off nicely. Our PVA is all protected, so we don't have to worry about that overnight. Um, and then I'm gonna call the episode here today, you guys. Uh, we got the dam built down the center to split the molds in half, and then got everything prepped PVA'd and gel coated. So next week we'll check back and we'll get started on the actual structure of this mold. There's some things that are going to be a little bit different on this structure than the front because it is large and pretty flat. So we'll cover those next week, um, get the structure of this guy done, and then hopefully we can start on the other side and carry on from there. So Thank you so much for watching you guys. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, go check us out on Instagram, Left Foot First Media, and we'll see you next week. I'm out of here.